There's a pretty one, Ulysses. Hello booktube, I'm Sean the Bookmaniac. Welcome back to my channel. I didn't know whether I was going to get a Friday Reads filmed or put out into the universe today because I'm not really feeling it. I'm not sure that there will be regular Friday Reads until the world calms down because my reading is receding into the background of what's going on in the world. I'm not handling this very well, people, and I don't know anybody that is. So let's just support each other, and if reading helps, let's read. If making videos helps, let's make videos. I'm not sure. I probably have read a quarter of what I usually read in the last week. I just can't concentrate. So I'm not going to pretend that it's been a great reading week. It's been one of the shittiest weeks I've ever experienced, and I'm sure that's true for all of you. Be good to each other. Wash your fucking hands. Oh my god, my hands are so clean. Don't be racist assholes. Love each other, but don't meet. Japan is in such a state of denial about this, and they're not testing, and they're... Still going ahead with the Olympics, which is like a matter for the International Criminal Court to investigate. Canada's in chaos. America's worse. Italy. Oh, poor Italy. Jesus Christ. And I think Italy's coming to a place near you. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's being too much gloom and doom. The experts that I trust are saying, let's be judged for overreacting to this. If we underreact, we're doomed. So, uh, Godspeed to all of those that are working hard to bend the curve. Uh, I am scared to live here right now. I'm going to work. I could take the time off, but it's not going to keep me any healthier. My husband can't afford to take the time off. And at the end of two weeks of us isolating from... The denial of what's not happening in Japan, it's going to be, what will we have accomplished? Nothing. So I'm otherwise isolating in the apartment. My social life is even more non-existent than usual. Uh, it makes me angry when I walk by crowded restaurants. I have lots of wine and lots of toilet paper. I'm probably not going to put out videos regularly. I, I don't know. That's the thing. I'm not going to conform to any schedules because I don't know what it's going to be like. And so that being said, <laughs> uh, I don't have much to tell you. I finished Rohinton Mysteries, such a long journey. Um, that had been put on hold because Natalie was having some trouble. You can go to her channel if you want to hear her talk about what was going on for her. Sending her a big hug, but the video collaboration didn't proceed. I finished the book, and um, I had put it aside for a few weeks, so I don't know if that affected it, but no, I didn't really like it by the end. Four stars, which means I didn't love it. It had some things that I liked, and you know what? With kind of... Uh, fried brain I have, that's about as uh, insightful of a wrap-up review you're going to get from me. So that's finished. This is not a bail. I pulled out at the very last minute of buddy reading Disoriental with Britta Bowler. I just couldn't take it on. She knew me better than I knew myself. She offered to release me from the commitment the night before we were to begin. And I said, oh no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, and the next morning, I think, what was it, Monday morning, I said, oh, Britta, no, I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't commit to anything. The only happy thing that has happened in my life this week is that it was Doris's birthday, and Britta and I did this tag, and I'll put a link in the show notes, and uh, once again, happy 50th birthday, Doris. And for Read doris -a -thon, I also started a collection of essays by Doris Lessing, Prisons We Choose to Live Inside, and I read the first essay, and... I'm not a big essay reader. I think I enjoyed it, but the truth is I finished reading it earlier this morning. I couldn't tell you a damn thing 
about what I read. So that's kind of how my reading life is going. But I did start it and I will continue it at my own pace. I may not finish reading another book for a couple of months. When I can clear my head enough to sink into a good book, or a few good books, or some bad books, it is wonderful. But that's happening less and less for me. I don't know how long my life is going to be like that, where reading is taking a backseat to just checking in with people, thinking about what I need to do, what contingencies the, I need to be prepared for, and following the news zealously, which is not good for my mental health, obviously, but somebody's got to read the news, people. So I, I, nobody will convince me that I need to watch less news. No, I have to manage my, the anxiety and maybe not watch the news just before bed but yeah anyway this is the most disjointed that's why you might not see another friday reads for a while people um what was i saying when i can detach uh from all of that that's going on in the world and going on in my head and sink into a book it feels wonderful and what i've noticed is and this is partly perhaps why i'm not doing it very much when i come out of it when i have to put the book down it feels like waking up and then I realized that I had completely forgotten that the world is going down the toilet and it's just a weird feeling like, oh my God, all this stuff. Like I had, I had successfully detached from it and then when it swarms back into my consciousness, it's almost painful. So that's where things are at, people. Sending out loving thoughts. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Wash your hands and don't touch each other. Sending you all my love.